गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी अवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज रिफाइनिंग पेट्रोलियम सी इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द व्हाट इज पेट्रोलियम एंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ पेट्रोलियम हाउ पेट्रोलियम इज ऑप्टेन ओके सो पेट्रोलियम इट इज नॉट ओनली जस्ट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ पेट्रोल ओके सो इट इज द मिक्सचर ऑफ मेनी प्रोडक्ट पेट्रोलियम मीन्स वॉट इट इज द मिक्सचर ऑफ मेनी प्रोडक्ट so that is a petrol diesel paraffin wax kerosene so these so many products are present in a, a petroleum okay you can see the constitutes of a petroleum so now these all the products okay these all the product to separate it separately means we want petrol diesel paraffin wax so so many this product we want it okay but it is in the form of a petroleum only in that these all products are there then how to obtain these all the product separately for that one process is there that only process is known as a refining of petroleum see here okay i have written here definition that is a process in which petroleum is separated into different fractions having different boiling points is called a refining of a petroleum see this is the proper definition of refining of a petroleum we we'll see just now we have discussed about the so many products so many constituents are present in a petroleum okay and how to get this all the product separately that separation of method that is only a known as a refining of a petroleum okay but see these all products are present in a petroleum so petroleum what is petroleum petroleum is a mixture of these all the products okay but these all products having a different a boiling point see the separation methods okay we have learning separation methods from six standard so many separation methods are there if it is any mixture then how to separate it okay so many methods we have discussed before also so for this we are using a distillation method do you remember a fractional distillation see fractional distillation this method we are using here we see in these so many products are present and these all the products are having a different boiling points and with the help of this boiling points means products will boil and that we are getting a separately okay so now see see again the definition that is the process in which petroleum is separated okay petroleum it is the mixture of these all the products but refining of petroleum means what the process in which petroleum is separated into a different fractions different fractions different product okay having a different boiling points means now these all the products having a different boiling points and is called a refining of petroleum okay and see th for these we are a uh, using a refinery okay now refinery means what where this petrol this refining process is occur that machinery is see here picture it is given this is known as a refinery okay so this process occurs that machinery is, is known as a refinery okay so see here plant set up for the refining is called the refinery means now in this picture you can see the so many big plants are set up for to separate the petroleum product okay and this plant is a known as a refinery why it is known as a refinery because it is used to separate this constituents of a petroleum so it is known as a refinery okay now see process uh, of petroleum 
processing now we will see how this process occurs means how these constituents of petroleum products of petroleum separated what is the process so now that process we are going to learn here see here the constituents of petroleum now which constitutes are present in that so that first we will see see the liquefied petroleum gas liquefied petroleum gas means what lpg and you know the use of lpg in the domestic use regularly we are using this lpg in our home okay so this is first one liquefied petroleum gas second petrol and diesel then kerosene and paraffin wax these are the constituents of a petroleum means in a crude oil means petroleum now we know that how the petroleum we get okay in this crude oil see here this is a petroleum means it is a dark thick a liquid okay in this thick a liquid these all products are present that is a liquefied petroleum gas petrol diesel kerosene and paraffin wax see a picture it is given in this it is shown the dark color liquid is known as a petroleum and these all products are present so this liquid we are using the word that is a crude oil okay because it is not a specific petrol it is not a specific diesel paraffin wax because this is the mixture of these all constituents do you understand it okay now how to separate these all the products that separation method we will learn now here okay now you know that if these constituents are present in a petroleum and they are having a different a boiling points okay so because of this reason we can separate it from this petrol crude oil now see here here what it is first we have to take a crude oil means a petroleum why because in the petroleum only these all products are present okay when it started a heating okay heating process and see it is a not a small plant uh, you have seen before also the pictures i shown you okay the big plants are Pray there, and this process is occurs in that B plants that is known as a refinery. Okay, so see here this crude oil. When this crude oil heated, okay. So see the first now here the fractional distillation method means here fractions are given. See at twenty degrees Celsius means when this crude oil start boiling at means it is a not a perfect it is not a perfect temperature but approximately at 20 degree celsius when at this boiling point the lighter gas okay lighter gas is a separated why because they are having a less boiling point at 20 degree celsius it start boiling so that gas is a separated that is a butane now butane where it is present butane see in our regular cylinder that lpg liquefied petroleum gas okay so in that which gas is present that is only known as a butane so butane having very less boiling point at starting only at 20 degree celsius we can separate the butane okay now see here after that 70 degree celsius 70 degree celsius will get the petrol okay at 70 degree celsius we get the petrol so 70 degree celsius is a boiling point of petrol petroleum ether so it is known as okay so petrol will get at 70 degree celsius then next 120 degree celsius kerosene we can separate the kerosene see now when the crude oil when we are providing heat it started a it started heating so first 20 degree then 70 degree see the temperature is increasing 
if we will provide the heat continuously so temperature will increase and that particular temperature whoever it is the boiling point so that substance we can separate it okay so at 1 day 20 degree celsius kerosene is separated then uh, 200 degree celsius diesel is separated and 300 degree celsius heavy gas oil separated and 600 degrees celsius uh, celsius lubricating oil now lubricating oils means what see some oils we are using to prevent from means friction reduce a friction okay see some machineries are there in the vehicles also so because of the friction sometimes that moving parts okay that moving parts they are not working properly so for that we are using a oil that oil is known as a lubricating oil and they are having a more boiling point see 600 degree celsius okay so more boiling point so that time we can separate the lubricating oil so this is the simple method to separate these constituents of petroleum from petroleum okay so these are the constituents of petroleum that we can separate by this distillation method but this method for that the plant is very important and that setup is known as a see that setup is known as a refinery okay that setup is known as a refinery mostly these um, setups are assam it first launched in assam okay and uh, now, now it is there in gujarat andhra pradesh also in india so this is the process of refining of petroleum so now what you have to remember refining of petroleum means what Refining of petroleum means we have to separate the constituents of petroleum with the help of this method, okay? Because petroleum is a mixture of many products. Now, which constituents are there for in the petroleum? That is a liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, then petrol, diesel, kerosene and paraffin wax, okay? Now, this we can separate by this method okay so do you understand it how to separate this all the constituents from petroleum so today after this lecture just you write down these all the points okay these all the points this diagram also in your chemistry notebook okay and the tomorrow we will see what are the uses of these all the constituents of petroleum where it is used that point we will continue in next lecture so now i will stop here thank you